All right, so here we are in example 2.5. Uh, so in 2.5, we're asked to revisit example 1.6. So back in example 1.6, um, we solved for the speed of a molecule, um, specifically water at zero degrees C. So in example 2.5, we're asked to write a general script where if the user specifies the molecular weight of the mo molecule uh, and the temperature, uh, it'll return uh, the speed, okay? Um, and so this way, if you want to look at different molecules with different molecular weights, say understand uh, the effect of the mass of the molecule, uh, look at the effect of temperature, uh, we can readily just change that variable in my command window, rerun, uh, and see what the effect is. Okay. Um, so uh, I'm going to go back to example 1.6, because I'll write the script to essentially resolve this problem, okay, where we're provided with our equation uh, and uh, our parameters down here. And I'll write a script to solve this problem because then I can, you know, check to make sure my script is correct by confirming that I get the same answer uh, as before. Uh, and if you want, there's a screencast available for example 1.6. Uh, you can go check that out uh, if you'd like before we write uh, the script. But I'm going to pause MATLAB for a sec, or uh, pause the recorder for a second and hop over to MATLAB uh, and we'll get started. Okay, so here I am over in MATLAB. Uh, we're asked to create a script to perform the calculation. So I'm going to start by clicking the button New Script uh, over here in my Home tab. Okay, and I'll start by writing a short description of what the script's going to do. All right, so this will be a, a script to compute the speed of a molecule at a given uh, temperature. Okay, so in terms of preconditions, we said we want the user to specify um, T underscore C, um, temperature in degrees C. We could always update it if you prefer Kelvin. And then we're going to need, say, MW, molecular weight in AMU. As post conditions are concerned, Let's return um, speed ms, uh, speed of molecule in units of meters per second. Uh, if you want to do miles per hour, uh, we could do that. We could do, say, as a post condition, speed MPA, MPH, speed of molecule in units of miles per hour. See to spell it correctly now. Okay, uh, so then uh, let's let the calculations begin, and let's oops, let's proceed uh, exactly as we did with uh, problem one six. So in one six, we started by assigning the parameters provided in the problem set uh, to variables. Okay, so um, we started with our molar gas constant. And that's in joules per mole Kelvin. So we had R is equal to 8.314. And then an AVO, okay, Avogadro's number. And AVO was 6.022 e to the 23. Okay, and we could put that as 1 over inverse moles. And then looking at the parameters we actually need, um, again, just like uh, in example 1.6, my strategy is to solve this using SI units for everything uh, so that I know my speed will be in SI units meters per second. So I have R and N Avogadro, but what I actually need is KB. Okay, So where R is the molar gas constant, uh, KB is my molecular gas constant. So R is joules per, or joule per Kelvin per mole. Kb is just joules per Kelvin per molecule. Okay, so to get, um, we'll call it my molecular gas constant. Okay, and that's in just joules per Kelvin. Okay, or you can think of it as joules per Kelvin per molecule, but uh, typically we just emit the, the molecule part. Okay. And so that'll be equal to um, R divided by an alpha. Cool. Okay. 
As a precondition, we have a molecular weight in AMU. Okay. But if I want to get SI units, what I need is the mass of a molecule. Okay. So when I think about molecular weight AMUs, okay, I think of that as grams per mole. Okay. So the first thing I can do is I can convert molecular weight to, so molecular weight, uh, which is grams per mole to mass in uh, grams per molecule. Okay, And so how I do that is if I want the mass in grams, it'll be the molecular weight. Okay, And then if this is grams per mole and I would convert it to uh, per molecule, I again divide by our friend uh, N Avogadro, which tells us how many molecules are in a mole. Now if I want to convert to kilograms, mass in kilograms would be my mass in grams divided by 1,000. Okay, next piece of the puzzle is me to convert uh, temperature from C to Kelvin, and that's just T underscore Kelvin is equal to T underscore C plus 273.15. Okay, cool. And then we can compute speed in meters per second just using our formula. Um, so we said speed uh, ms, if I recall correctly from my post condition, square root of 3 times kb times t in Kelvin divided by mass in kilograms. Bam. And let me get rid of that so it's uh, the output's not suppressed. Okay, So we said we wanted miles per hour as well, um, but I'm going to start by just getting meters per second to make for sure for starters I get the uh, same answer that we had uh, last time. Uh, it's asking for a name, um, so we can call this a MB speed, Maxwell Boltzmann speed. Okay. So if I come down here, and I type MD or, uh, MB speed. Okay, so this is a script, and so what happens is when I type the name of my script in my command window, MATLAB essentially opens up this file and runs through it and executes the contents one uh, line at a time. Okay, so uh, these are comments, so comments are ignored. And then you'll notice at the very bottom, it's giving us a little message. Um, so this isn't an error message, all it's suggesting is that we haven't made this or suppressed the output, um, you know, are you sure that's what you want to do? Right? Do you want to make it silent or not? Okay. So before I run MB speed, uh, we have uh, precondition. So our precondition is MW is going to contain the molecular weight of my uh, species of interest, in this case um, water, and T underscore C, and will be my temperature of interest in degree C. So now if I run MB speed, I get 615.2194, 615.22, 615 615.22, exactly the same. Hey, great, so we um, were able to write a script uh, and everything works perfectly. Again, one of the beauties of a script is, say I wanted to take my molecular weight and double it by two, you know, I could pose the question, if I double the mass of my molecule at the same temperature, is speed gonna increase or decrease? Well, if I rerun MB speed with my mass, it's now double, uh, speed decreases. Okay, cool. I'm gonna change it back to water, and then I'm gonna go back up here, because the last thing we're asked is to calculate the speed um, in miles per hour. Okay, so first, I'm gonna convert meters to miles. Okay, and so to convert my speed in meters per second to miles second, that'll be my speed in meters per second times, uh, my conversion factor is one mile per 1609.34 meters. And so I'll say next. Ah, next 
seconds uh, to hours. Okay, and actually, why is this giving me an issue here? So that up is not suppressed. That's fine. Okay. I just click off it, it magically disappeared. So speed in miles per hour would be my speed in miles per second. Okay, and then there's um, 60 seconds in one minute and 60 minutes in one hour. Okay, and I won't suppress the output here. Again, so it has the effect that when I run it, um, it'll display both. So I save it, run MB speed. So I just clicked up to recall the command and get my 615.22. Uh, and then here's my you know, 1300 uh, miles per hour, just like before. Okay, excellent. Uh, so now I have a script uh, to compute the uh, velocity in meters per second and miles per hour of any uh, molecule of any weight uh, at a given temperature.